Hello and welcome to Momna's Life Handmade for DIY decor SEO recipe travel home everything in a budget. Do subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and stay updated with all my videos. Today I'm participating in the monthly challenge for look for less challenge where we create something high end looking at a very small budget. This is being hosted by Yami from the Latina Next Door and her co-host for the month is Lindsay Domer from Lindsay Domer Home. They are lovely DIY channels. Watch their channels. The links are given in the description box along with the playlist. I always wanted to own a small decorative wooden boxes, lovely custom painted. I have seen so many of them on Etsy. They range from somewhere around 50 US dollars to above 300 dollars. They can be pretty expensive, but I wanted to have a custom made something just suiting my choice. I love my tea and I got this Makai Bari organic tea leaves and they were lovely and the best part it came in a box. So this is a wooden container with a very thin wood and lovely light colored wood. I always love those small boxes for jewelry or any other keepsake wooden boxes which are decorative and I kept this box just for the same purpose. But the problem is though the inside is plain the outside has got these markings, labels, instructions, everything on all the six surfaces. And I tried all tricks that I knew. I used soap, water, acetone, alcohol, but this stain is so deep it just doesn't come out. So I have to paint this box. So I'll come back after maybe a coat or two of white paint over this. Now here is my box after two coats of paint. I deliberately did not paint the bottom side because I want to keep it for my memory's sake. One can paint it of course. Now after two coats of paint it is glossy and uh, I don't like it. I think I'll just buff it up a bit with the sandpaper. That gives a more smoother and yet micro rough surface uh, for the next layer to be put on. So I'll buff all the sides. I looked for a pattern. I did not want to use uh, regular tissue paper or I did not find the, what exactly I was looking for but I found this border on net and I really liked it. I enlarged it uh, to twice this width and got it printed in two uh, pieces and I'm going to add acrylic colors to this to get my colored print out, cut it out and paste it over it. Honestly I did not give much thought what color goes where just the leaves green and the flowers some colors and the butterfly in some different color. I'm just making two matching patterns. I'll gradually build up layers and add some more colors and shades to this. So I've cut out these uh, printouts, painted printouts, I'll fold them into halves and as you see I have put it here at the joint space and I'll stick it here. You see I've deliberately uh, made it a little less than the edge so that I can add some leaves or some fillers to make it complete and a continuous piece here. So one can use Mod Podge, PVA glue, white glue, anything one prefers. I'm using PVA glue. It's equivalent to Mod Podge or uh, diluted wood glue. So here is my midpoint and drag it till the bottom.
my endeavor so far and honestly i love this but i've promised you a few more tricks so on to the next trick uh it is very easy either one can use stamps but i didn't have the required stamp so i found a border that i would like and it's just the thickness as that of the rim of the lid and i've got it printed out then i'll just simply cut it out and i've seen so many people use this trick i'll uh just blacken out the side either use a tracing paper or just use any lead pencil graphite pencil and darken the blacken out the back side of the paper then place it exactly where you want it taking a sharp pencil or pen or any object trace the outlines the carbon deposit or the lead deposit graphite deposit at the back side of the paper will get transferred onto the wood just the way it works with tracing paper can you appreciate this yes the tracing is here now i can use brush and a black paint into it or i can take a little easy way out and use a black marker pen at least do the outlines which are sharp and then fill in with color or i'm using black acrylic paint and a fine tip brush and fill in the details so far so i have used decoupage technique stamping or tracing technique and now for the fourth technique if you are a little okay with using brush or pen colors free hand is my last technique to offer so i have pencil sketched the basic form of butterflies and i'm going to highlight them initially using a permanent marker pen and then i'll go on to add colors using brush
I love my own customized little painted decorated box with three different techniques. Honestly, the price of a decor piece or an art piece does not matter how much money was spent on the raw material. It matters who is selling it, who is buying it, and the craftsmanship, the skill that has gone behind it. This piece to me is priceless. I love it and I'll keep it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you all again in my next video. Take care.